against the hierarchy again after all these years. Captain, your offer is intriguing. It's tempting to think that with your advanced precursor technology, we can somehow crack the Earth's slave shield and reassemble the Alliance to attack the hierarchy. And this time, win the damn war. Consider the consequences if you should fail. The Urquan won't just punish us here on the station. They'll exact a gruesome retribution on the surface below as well. Before I commit this station to helping you attack the Urquan and accepting the risk of annihilation if we are defeated, I have to make sure that you and your ship have what it takes to oppose the hierarchy. I'll make you a deal. If you can eliminate the alien base on the moon and get rid of that threat at least, I will seriously consider your offer. Okay, so like I said in the previous video, I'm uh, sorry for it cutting out. That'll happen because I don't exactly have a way to know, but I'll get a clock, I'm sure. What details can you give us about the base on the moon? After the Urquan erected the slave shield around the Earth and established this space station, they decided to leave a contingent of combat ships close to the Earth to keep watch on our planet and confirm that they were obeying the Urquan slave laws. I'm certain they're still out there on the surface of the moon because we can pick up a constant stream of alien broadcasts. If you haven't played this game before, um, basically the way you figure out what to do so you're not just flying around amongst the stars is to talk to these people when you can, and uh, what you say does matter, so uh, try and make your decisions wisely, and uh, you know, figure out, you know, don't just skip around unless you know what you're doing, obviously. Be careful, Captain. There are probably a dozen Spathy eluders and Illrath Avengers down there on the lunar surface. I don't know why they haven't come after you yet, but when they do, you'd better have your weapons armed and your thrusters burning hot. Okay, so everything I know about the Spathy um, is that they're cowards and that they like to pussyfoot a lot. And the Illrath are basically religious warlords of some sort they like to, or I guess religious warmongers who like to fight over their two gods of death, Kazon and Karog or something like that. I don't know. Since those don't give jack, I'm not really going to kill any of them. Real time does pass as you're going, so don't just fiddle around. Even when you're outside in your spaceship or something, just sitting there, time passes. So make sure that you're going to pause, which I believe is F1. As you saw, the map uh, wraps around. That's not great. Anyway, so basically they found out that the, uh, the base was abandoned and that they had a bunch of construction robots pushing around random piles of moon dust. For no reason. Have you dealt with the base yet? Oh, and uh, the speed of your ship goes a lot faster as you upgrade it, so uh, it's not always going to be that slow. And yeah, so I'm not going to lie. I'll be darned. All these years we've been listening to their incoherent broadcast and we never even guessed. Captain, listen closely. Long-range sensors show a ship closing on this station fast. Our computer identifies it as Illrath, Avenger class. I think you've got a fight on your hands, Captain. 
Your best bet is to wait until you have point blank range. Captain, it's jamming our signal. Oh yeah, and another bad thing about losing crew. Crew's also your By health. The pathetic breath of the dark twin Kazan, a human and an alien starship. How fascinating. When I intercepted that Urquan drone and learned that an unidentified starship had approached Earth, uh, I never expected to find such a remarkable vehicle in the hands of a human. Humans are prey animals, weak and helpless. But here is a human in an armored starship and therefore in direct violation of the Oath of Fealty. I am sure our masters, the Orquan, will punish Earth most severely for this treachery when I present them with the twisted wreckage of your ship and your many charred corpses. Is it just me or does it look like he has a butterfly head? Since you will soon be dead, I will gladly explain. We have spent many years gleefully preying on the Pekunk. They are a pitiful, easily killed species. And we would have continued in this divine worship of Dogar and Kazan, but we required additional crew members and repairs to our cloaking device. So we departed the Jiglas constellation and set course for home. Before we had reached our region of space, we detected the passage of a nearby vessel, the Urquan drone. It informed us about you, so here we are. And now, you die! Oh, that's just nice. I am really not very good at fighting, so, and I do need to practice some more in the super melee mode. Which allows you to just crawl. Well, thank God it was damaged. What a beautiful sight, Captain! I haven't seen an Avenger blown away like that since the battle in Draco. I guess you've shown that you can handle yourself in battle, Captain. So my last reservation about helping you has been dissolved. I will commit the station to helping free Earth and defeat the Urquan. We may get our atoms rearranged in the process, but by God, Captain, we're going to try. So the obvious first step is to get the precursor equipment and software over here so that we can make it work with our ship repair fabricators. But then what, Captain? Okay, so basically you do have some choices which, as I've seen from the Let's Play videos, affect uh, the conversations at the very least. So then, Commander, we will proceed to kick some major alien butt. Eh, er, trust me, Commander, I have a plan. A really good plan. But for now, it must remain a secret. I'm not gonna blow smoke. We will slowly build our strength, unify an allied Starfleet, and bring the Urquan to their knee equivalents. I think I'll go with that. A sensible plan, Captain. Let's get to work. Good luck. By the way, Captain, I think we need a name for this new alliance we're going to forge. And since it was your idea, it's only fair that you get the honor of naming it. So, what will it be? It's either the New Alliance of Free Stars, the Concordance of Alien Nations, the United Federation of Worlds, or the Empire of Zelmic. Um... I'm not going to pick the Empire of Zelmeg. That's just self-centered. The Concordance of Alien Nations is probably the best uh, fitting for what ends up happening. At least that's how it seems. But you do kind of do get some worlds in there. And they're not exactly free stars because they have to unite. So I'm going to go with this, especially because I'm attracted. That has a familiar ring to it. Nonetheless, we'll make it so. The United Federation of Worlds. Now, Captain, I expect the configuration process for the Starbase to take at least two weeks, so let's get to work. Uh, and it's pretty much an instantaneous two weeks. 
I have good news to report, Captain. We have successfully integrated the precursor technology from your ship into our fabricator system, and as you can see, we've already begun minor repairs on your ship, patching up some of the micrometeorite holes. We noticed that your ship does not have an emergency warp escape unit, so our engineers rigged up some for you and each of your escorts. Now, you should be able to escape from a bad situation with the touch of a button, but there is a cost, however. The unit gulps up five fuel units each time your precursor ship uses it. Also, we now have a limited capacity to make modifications to your ship, to refine starship fuel, to build additional combat ships, and to train new members of your crew for the flagship and any ships you acquire for your fleet. Captain, I know you're eager to get to work, so I'll be brief. If you have any questions how this starbase works, what resources we need, or just some background information on the galaxy, don't hesitate to ask. And I actually do plan on asking all those questions in a separate video. But right now, I'm just going to offload the more these minerals missions. you bring us, Captain, the faster we'll be able to tackle the Urquan. Try to avoid getting gruesomely killed, Captain. <laughs> that was really nice of him. Not really. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to save, and then I'm going to end this video for now. And yeah, I'm going to use the bottom slot for this video.